Well, for people who have been released from prison and jail, sometimes it can be easy to slip back into their old habits. But here in Kern County, there are a handful of programs to help them stay clean. The now story Cooper takes us inside the lives of some who have experienced life both in and out of the Lairdo detention facility and has more on how they are taking advantage of opportunities for change after their sentence. Tori. Jessica, both current and former inmates I spoke to said even though jail time isolation helped them sober up, it was the opportunities provided to them on the outside that helped keep them on track. So who's going to be breaking them? Okay, right here. The California system tries to step in with schooling and aftercare intended to help inmates reassimilate themselves back into society. How many of you have fought while under the influence of alcohol? And one woman took advantage of those opportunities to make life outside of these fences a little better once she was released. I, I do believe recovery, it happens spiritually. So what crime did you commit? The last, the last crime that I committed, my last arrest, I uh, was arrested with an AR-15, 500 grand, rounds of ammunition and uh, 27 grams of methamphetamine. Kern County resident Deanna Blankmanship says she was deep in the game of selling and doing drugs before she was sentenced to nearly seven years of jail time. Transportation, um, sales, um, maintaining a house for sales, things like that. But the mother of two boys had a different motivation than other women at the Laredo detention facility in Kern County. It was being away from my children. You know, for six years, by the time I get out, my children won't even know who, and I won't know who they are. Blankenship said the isolation process during her life at Lairdo impacted her spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. But she was also faced with the same temptations at Lairdo that she had before her sentence. You know, people still bringing things from the old lifestyle and the old ways and the old habits, bringing that in here. You just have to make a decision if that's what you want to go back to. Blankenship copped a deal and was offered a year of incarceration and a year in a mandatory program when she got out. While incarcerated, Blankenship got heavily involved in the parenting, anger management, moral development, and sobriety programs offered in the Matrix program at Lairdo. Was there anything criminal going on there? Choosing a road toward change with others facing the same types of challenges then and now. In the process of selling drugs, I ended up catching this drug charge. Unlike Blankenship, Samuel Reska is a return offender on drug charges. I've been in and out of jails and, and, and prisons uh, for the last, for 25 years, if you do the math, you know. But he says he's never had this same opportunity and that the classes are giving him a chance to dig deeper into his heart and better understand what made him ultimately choose drug abuse. Reska says he's thankful for the classes helping him reconstruct his moral behavior. Easier to take a drink of beer or, or, or put some drugs in my system and not feel the emotions than it is to sit down and really feel and sort out your feelings and emotions, you know? The programs are voluntary for the majority of the inmates to attend throughout the year, except people under maximum security. Reska is currently serving out two years at Lairdo, but after he gets out, he says he plans to continue his aftercare through a sober living home. These homes of support are offered through the Sheriff's Office and the Community Corrections Partnership in Kern County. It connects inmates with proper programs to maintain their sobriety and reduce their chances of recidivism. And when Blankmanship made the commitment to continue her progress towards sobriety, that's when she was met with open arms by Lynn Huckabee, the executive director at the Freedom House program. And with willingness, we become teachable, and that's what Dina was. You know, she's one of the miracles of this program. The Sober Living program at the Freedom House offers group meeting sessions, employment development, job search and training assistance, helping Blankenship get a firm grip back on her feet into the workforce after her incarceration. And th this was my bed when I first got out. Blankenship took me on a tour of her sober living home for the last year. We looked back on some of her fondest memories and the people she shared it with. This is our wall where all of the participants and the clients that have been through here, each story, you know, all the things that we do, we go camping, we barbecue. Huckabee saw Blankenship's commitment to the Freedom House philosophy. So Huckabee did his best to help keep her on the right path. So what I had talked to her about doing is if you will go to school, I will sponsor you. Blankenship also received another scholarship sponsor from the Kern County Department of Probation for her outstanding commitment to change, and she enrolled at Bakersfield College. That was at my graduation. They surprised me. I came home, I pulled in the driveway, and everybody I loved was here. Blankenship received an associate's degree in communication, psychology, and human services from Bakersfield College. And now she plans to give back to the system that she says gave her a second chance. Become a drug and alcohol counselor at Wasco State Prison 
continue on with my education. Leaving behind her past with hopes of inspiring others to walk in the same path that she chose after Laird up. So that now that it's their turn to give back and, and do the same thing that I did, it's my turn to move on. Um, and I'm being sent to, to help uh, a, new, a new group of people now. Blankenship ended up landing the job as an alcohol counselor at the Wasco State Prison. She will be moving into another sober living home through the Freedom House program to help coach more women through their sobriety. Since incarceration, Blankenship also helped start a program at Bakersfield College called Free on the Outside to help establish a support system for formerly incarcerated students. And she is just a few classes shy of walking with a bachelor's degree. If you would like more information on the programs offered for formerly incarcerated people visit our website turn to 23.com and click on the now tab chris